Welcome back and thanks again for joining us. I wish you could see the scenes that I'm looking at when I look to my right. Uh, we had the beautiful singers and the dancers. Uh, Dinoka, uh, it is yes, Dinaka, I must say, apologies there. Uh, just doing their thing, uh, beating the drum, the horns were being played, the mamas were dancing. And then slowly but surely you see a sea of yellow uh, and then a little bit of red. And then you realize that the political parties have started to just creep in there because they will do anything to get a little bit of uh, ca campaigning I should say a little bit of their colors on air just so you can remember that they still do exist it is election mode it's full swing ahead to the 7th of May so you can expect to see red and blue and yellow and green and all sorts of colors representing the different various uh, parties uh, creeping up all sorts of places I tell you we're not safe anyway uh, just on a serious note though let's pick up uh, with Mr. Michael Matebe he's representing EFF I'm going to ask him to comment on what the ANC that Siapa Rosukwati had said a little bit earlier that the ANC uh, has always and will continue to dominate uh, Limpopo. Uh, your response? Uh, before I respond to that, <coughs> I just want to mention two things that in 2004, President Tabombek declared Skukune a neutral point, which means it was a focus of development. But 10 years later, there's nothing that has happened in that area, which means it was a lip service. And now, again, in 2009, when President Zuma became the president of the Republic of South Africa, he declared the Moeshe to be a presidential nodal point as well. Five years later, nothing has happened in that area again. So these are the kind of services that we are getting from the <coughs> ANC, which is empty promises. But coming to the point that the ANC uh, uh, Limpopo is a stronghold for uh, ANC, we are talking about history, uh, we are talking about the past. The present is different. The ANC has lost the ground in Limpopo. The EFF is occupying almost every single piece of this land in Limpopo. And uh, the results will give us, in, on, the, on the aid, will give us as a proof to say it's true this is now a new home for the EFF. It will never be a new home, a, a, a home for ANC anymore because of the bad services that our people has received from the ANC in the past 20 years. OK, we're going to hear from you now because you're going to have to elbow your way, uh, push the EFF out and the ANC out and perhaps even a rang here in, in Limpopo. How do you plan on emerging victorious? Uh, just first on the issue of corruption, which you touched on earlier on, <clears throat> for as long as you have uh, the absence of a regulatory framework which prohibits state employees from doing business with the very same state which employs them, and you don't have a framework where if government officials are found guilty, they are barred from serving as employees of government, you'll continue having corruption in Limpopo. As the Democratic Alliance, uh, what we've done, we've submitted private members' bill numerous times to the ANC in the legislature to say that we perhaps need to be looking into having a regulatory framework in order to curb corruption but they've consistently blocked our attempts to deal with corruption. And the reasons are simple. They have vested interest in ensuring that uh, corruption ensues. However, the battle is really not between our, uh, the ANC and the EFF. Remember, we have representation in the legislation, in the legislature. So the battle here is between the ANC and the DA and the other parties are now coming trying to squeeze in, not the other way around. So this is a two-horse race yes, in all that. Yeah, okay, okay, yes, if you say yes, so. Yeah. We will continue with this debate uh, and we'll hear from Azampo's Mukotedi uh, Radikwana in just a moment. I must just add that if you do have access to Channel 404 on DSTV, you might want to switch over because we're going to continue with this discussion. Uh,